Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you with another Jeans and Boots video. This one's a cheapy. We got a $15 George boot cut jean that you can get from Walmart and I'm gonna see what they're actually like. Is it worth the $15 or is it worth the pass? We'll find out. I got eight different kinds of cowboy boots with eight different toe shapes that we're gonna try with this jean. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya. All right, so I got the boot cut George jeans on right now from Walmart, and I gotta say that so far I'm kind of impressed, but before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's get into the rundown. These George boot cut Walmart jeans are a lightweight stretch denim of 87% cotton, 11% polyester, and 2% elastane, AKA spandex. It sits just below the waist, and it's a slim fit through the hip and the thigh. Of course, it has that boot cut leg opening as well. It also has a zipper fly here. It's made in Mexico, which I was kind of surprised about because some jeans are coming from Bangladesh and China. I expected one of those with Walmart and everything. So I was kind of impressed that these jeans are made in Mexico. And they're also coming in at $14.96 at walmart.com. Real quick, today's video is helped made possible by yeehawcowboy.com. You can find dozens of great brands online at yeehawcowboy.com like Los Altos, Lucchese, Stetson, Corral, Tin Hall, Old Gringo, and Yeehaw Cowboy's own line of boots. Plus, you can save 10% when you use my promo code at checkout. It changes every so often, so be sure to head on over to jeremiahcraig.com slash promo codes to get the freshest code. Huge thanks to Yeehaw Cowboy for supporting the channel. Now it's back to these jeans. All right, now we're gonna try these George Bootcut jeans with eight different kinds of cowboy boots featuring eight different toe shapes. If you wanted to skip ahead to the toe shape that you were most interested in, the time codes are below. First up today is the Ariat Roper. We're gonna start with the most round and work our way to the most square. And I'm kind of impressed with how this jean is dealing with the roper right now. Ariats are known for really wide tops. And sometimes that can cause a problem for some jeans, especially that are on the cheaper end. Uh, and you can't stack these, at least I can't. And still, I think this is a doing a good job actually covering the top of that. I mean, sometimes you might get a little bit of an issue when you're walking. Like, see that? It is a little bit weird, but that might happen with several other kinds of boot styles as well. Overall, I think this is a good look for a $15 jean. Now, let's try it with a Uto. All right, here we have a Uto, which is a little bit less round than the Roper toe, and it also has just a little bit higher of a heel. And this is from Hondo. This is the 7875, and I think it's working pretty great with this jean as well. I mean, this is a cheap jean. I gotta say, my expectations were really low when you guys said, Jeremiah, you gotta try George Bootcut jeans from Walmart. And I said, jeans from Walmart that are 15 bucks? Come on. But they kind of meet my expectations in the lightweight quality of the denim. It doesn't feel that great. It does have some good stretch to it, but I can't argue with this look for $15 at the same time. So kind of impressed with what you're getting for $15, even though it doesn't feel like the most luxurious denim in the world, but why would it? It's $15. All right, here we have an Arto Python boot from Los Altos. And of course you can get this boot and all other Los Altos boots from yeehawcowboy.com. Don't forget to save 10% with my code that you can find at jeremiahcraig.com slash promo codes. This is a good look. We're in the exotic territory now, and this boot cut is working pretty well. I would like it to come down just a little bit lower, but uh, I really can't argue with this look for $15. I just keep coming back to the fact that it's like, what do you want? It's $15, and for $15, I think it's doing the job here. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, if you're watching this video within the first week or so of it being posted, I'm doing a giveaway for a pair of 
brand new Los Altos Python boots in your size. You can check that out at the link above or at the description. And if you're watching this a few weeks after that or a year from now, be sure to subscribe because you are missing out on a lot of giveaways. Here we have the JTO. This is a BNV water buffalo calf boot. And I think that this is the boot that goes with damn near every jean there is. This is such a good look and it's going really great with these boot cut jeans here. Wow. This is a good look for 15 bucks. I don't mind this at all, especially because it fits so well around my thighs too. Like I'm not, I'm not getting a lot of extra baggy material up here and it stretches nice. I mean, it might look a little silly if I sit down and it might sort of rise up a little bit. So that might be a small risk that you would have to face with these boots and these jeans. But again, for $15, this is a good look. This is a good look for sure. And it's definitely not a jean that I would want to put in the dryer because it feels like it will shrink up like three sizes on you. So, <laughs> but what do you want? It's $15. Now it's time to try this jean out with a snip toe. Wham, bam, god damn, this looks good. This is a Cayman Tail Snip Toe Boot from Yeehaw Cowboy. Yeah, Yeehaw Cowboy has their own brand of exotic boots and they're seriously awesome guys remember you can save 10 percent when you use my promo code jeremiahcraig.com slash promo code because it changes and look at this wow guys what do you want for 15 dollars this is a great look for 15 dollars not bad at all maybe just a little bit short and Maybe it will also break in, so I'll have to see. I'll do a, a video at the end of the year sort of ranking all of the jeans and I'll let you know if they get any longer, although I doubt that they will. Maybe a little, but I'm really not expecting it to. It still looks great, even though they might be just a touch high. I think it still is a really good look with this snip toe. Now, let's try it out with a narrow square toe. All right, here is an Ariat Ultra Ventec boot with the narrow square toe. It also has a little bit higher of a heel there with a two inch heel on it. And uh, I think it's working well. You know, this is another boot that uh, has a really wide top here and it can cause issues for some jeans, but these ones are dealing great with it and it's not as much of a problem as it was with the ropers because they're just a little taller too. So I think these are about two inches taller than those ropers and it allows the jean to cover the top a lot better and I think this is a good look. Again, what do you want for $15? I think this exceeds the expectations for the price as long as they last a while and uh, if you're doing a lot of hard work, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that in these jeans. Like I don't think that they'll last very long. Definitely not as long as a Wrangler would or a Levi's jean just because it's such a lightweight denim. But if you're looking for a casual cheap jean, this might be a good way to go. Now, let's try it out with a French toe. All right, here we are back into exotic territory. This is a Boulet 8502 chocolate Cayman belly. And uh, it's working really well with this. This is a combination that I would wear all the time, not the George boot cut, but boot cut jeans and this boot. I would do this all the time when I was in college. And uh, I think it's a classic look that you just can't go wrong with. This looks great. I think it's working really well with all of the boots that we've tried so far, all of them. Uh, especially because they're 15 bucks. It's like, what do you want? They're working fairly well with everything. But what about the wide square toe? That seems to be the toughest for me to find jeans for. So let's move on over to try a wide square toe with these George bootcut jeans from Walmart. All right, here we have a Stetson JBS lizard boot that you can also get from yeehawcowboy.com. Don't forget to use my code guys can save money. I know some of you guys are like, your code doesn't work. It works. Just go to jeremiahcraig.com slash promo code and get the latest one. 
Make sure you get the freshest promo code to get the freshest deals. The wide square toe is working pretty well. Uh, you got a little bit shorter of a heel there. Uh, it's, it's okay, you know? I don't think I would want to rock this on a regular basis. Let me know what you guys think of this look. Um, it's okay. I'm not super comfortable with it, but it's working. Again, it's like, what do you want for $15? So, geez, you guys were right. George bootcut jeans from Walmart seem to be a good way to go if you're looking for a casual jean that looks good with uh, several different kinds of boots. Like I said though, it is a lightweight denim that I would be concerned about working and doing a lot of hard work in it. Even just like general yard work, I wouldn't bet my life on these jeans. So if you were looking for a jean that you just wanted to hang out in that's cheap and maybe do a little bit of light work in, I think the George jean is a good way to go. And I've been kind of impressed with how well it works with several of these boots here. So let me know what you guys think of the George bootcut jeans down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. I'm doing videos like this all the time. Try to get a jeans video out at least once a month. So if there's any other kinds of jeans that you want to see me try with a bunch of different kinds of boots here, let me know down in the comments and I will put it on my list. You guys are the best and I hope you have a spectacular day. Peace. What do you want for 15 when it comes to these George boot cut jeans? They won't be tough, they won't be mean, but they sure look good for 15. Yeah. Thanks for watching today. Why don't you check out this video up here about a pair of Los Altos Python boots. Or I got a music video down here that I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.